This morning, the country continues to remember the lives lost during the deadly shootings in Atlanta this week. A man is facing charges accused of killing eight people, six of them Asian women. The attacks now leading to increased concern among the Asian community after a rise in violence over the past year. Team 12's Matt Uris is joining us live from the federal courthouse in Phoenix with how the shooting victims are being honored. Matt? Good morning, Tricia and Ryan. Let's start with saying that the president, President Biden, has ordered the flags at half staff for these victims. You may be able to see the flag here at the courthouse right over my shoulder uh, at half staff right now. Uh, draping across the pole early this morning. People gathered for a vigil last night at one of the three spas targeted on Tuesday to remember the lives of those lost. Six of the victims were Asian women. Right now, Atlanta police and the FBI are not calling the attacks a hate crime. This comes as new numbers show there has been a rise in violence against the Asian community over the past year, raising concerns not just here in Phoenix, but across the country. According to a report from the group Stop AAPI Hate, the majority of nearly 4,000 incidents reported between March 19th of last year and February 28th of this year. The majority of them involved verbal harassment and shunning, meaning the deliberate avoidance of Asian Americans, according to the report. In a study from the Center uh, of Hate and Extremism at California State University found that hate crimes against Asian Americans jumped 149% from 2019 to 2020 in 16 of America's largest cities. We spoke with the CEO of Arizona's Asian Chamber of Commerce about these recent trends. Take a listen. No matter how many generations we've lived here, no matter the sweat, blood, and tears that we've put into creating this great nation, we're still not American enough. Today, President Biden heads to Atlanta to meet with Asian American community members. And again, he's also ordered these flags, as you can see at the courthouse here this morning in Phoenix at half staff. So you should be seeing that across the valley at federal buildings and, of course, across the country this morning. Live in Phoenix, Matt Yurst, Today in AZ.